Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are six students. They are shortlisted to compete for medals in the History Olympiad, and they appeared in Paper X. And out of them, the top five appeared in Paper Y, and one gets eliminated. And then in the third round, four of them appear in. the third round which is paper z so this is round 1 round 2 round 3 so six students here one gets eliminated top 5 and then top 4 out of these five appear in these papers okay marks of each subject were added to arrive at the total score for these four students the highest scorer was given gold the second highest silver and the third highest was given a bronze medal okay now this table has some information and some values are missing it says that each student scored distinct marks on each paper between 60 to 90 okay so in a paper all these six values will be distinct the five values here whatever five values would be filled will be distinct okay and so on and then it says in each paper marks scored by each student are distinct so like first says each student scored distinct marks on each paper so this is first statement basically these are distinct values and between 60 to 90 so all these values are in this range okay and second statement says that these values will be distinct in each paper the marks will be distinct okay now it says in each paper one student's marks is a perfect square and the marks of the remaining students are prime numbers okay now between 60 to 90 there are two perfect squares 64 and 81 and remaining will be prime numbers and then some more information is given to us before uh, proceeding let us try to find out in which round you will have 64 in which round you will have 81 okay now if you see this these are six numbers okay and the total is odd So if you add six odd numbers, the total comes out as even. The total is given as four fifty three, which is an odd number. So five odd plus one even number. Okay. Now remaining values are prime numbers. They are odd to be odd only. Okay. So this means sixty four will come in this round. Now in this round there are five people. So it should be four e four odd numbers plus even. Then only you can get an even number as the total. Okay, so here also you will have some person scoring sixty four and three twenty two with four people. So you should have four odd numbers. Then only you get an even number as a total. So here we will have eighty one. Okay, as the mark. So this we have cleared. Now it says the scores of Aryan and Deepak in each of the three papers are prime numbers. So this means that Aryan and Deepak appear in all three papers. okay this is done then we have in no paper shiraz scored less than liam okay so shiraz will always be more than liam so this does not mean that uh, they appear in all the papers okay so it may happen that uh, someone might get eliminated also uh, then moti's marks in paper y and z differ by 15 okay marks in y and z differ by 15 now 15 the difference is odd so this means one number will be even another number has to be odd okay so difference of 15 means see if there are two odd numbers okay odd 1 minus odd 2 the difference is even number if there are two even numbers the difference is an even number but if there is an odd number and an even number the difference is always odd so one number will be odd one number will be even now in this round we know that all values are odd numbers okay so here he has to get an odd number and here he has to get an even number there is only one even number available which is 64 okay so he will get 64 marks here and 79 marks here so understanding of odd and even numbers is quite important now it says deepak was the lowest scorer in exactly one paper okay now deepak is playing till round 3 so he will be the lowest scorer in this paper because he is appearing all three papers here says the deepak in each of the three papers so he will be the least scorer in this one 
okay and cannot be eliminated previously only in one of the papers the lowest score was a perfect square now see this the lowest score can be 64 now if you see moti moti scored 64 but is writing paper z also that means it is not the lowest score so 64 has to be a lowest score in one of the papers it will be in paper 1 so in paper 1 whoever scores 64 will be the lowest scorer okay now some information if you see uh, it says in paper y deepak scored more than moti who scored more than liam so paper y deepak moti liam now this gives that in paper y deepak is appearing in the examination moti is appearing and liam is appearing okay and shiraz got the silver medal so shiraz will obviously appear in all three papers okay and he got 81 marks in one paper now 81 can happen in only this paper because in this we have 64 64 and here he can get 81 right now it becomes quite easy to uh, find out who gets eliminated in first paper see moti is appearing in all the papers deepak is appearing on papers aryan is appearing shiraz is appearing okay so and liam is appearing in paper y it says deepak scored more than moti who scored more than liam okay so this means elvish gets eliminated in the first paper so elvish will score 64 in this paper okay this is done now we know that moti is appearing in all three papers given to us deepak and aryan appearing in all three papers given to us shiraz getting the silver medal so he will appear in all three papers given to us so that means liam will get eliminated after paper y so he is the least scorer now in paper y 64 is not the lowest number because moti is appearing in paper 3 as well okay so the lowest number prime number which is less than 64 is 61 Okay. So, there is no other prime number between uh, 60 and 64. So, this has to be 61 marks. Okay, So, this is done. Now, we are left with uh, these values. We need to insert and find out that what could be the totals. Okay. Uh, next we have is uh, 2 here we have one two three values missing here we have three values filled two values missing and two values missing in this okay so let's uh, let's start we can start with paper y or paper z because we have used all these conditions distinct marks here we know okay uh, aryan deepak are prime numbers that we need to fill okay then we have uh, shiraz should be more than liam okay so this let us fill this one this can be filled easily now shiraz scored more than liam okay now 79 liam is scoring so shiraz can have some prime number which is in 80s which is 83 or 89 83 is filled because moti has scored it so shiraz will score 89 here okay now let us add these four and find the total of uh, the remaining two values Okay, so this is 147, 147 plus 168 is 315. So remaining is 138 in X. So I'll write here, X may 138 total. Okay, and in Y we have 64. Uh, y we have two values remaining. So 64, 61 is 125, 208, 156. In Y we have to fill 156 as the sum of two numbers. And in Z we have 79 plus 81 is 160, 162. We have to fill the total of two of those numbers. Okay. Now, uh, we know that uh, this is, let's start with this. 162 is the total. So, this is the lowest one. So, it has to be less than 79. Okay. Less than 79, we can have 73 as the prime number. Okay, 73 and 89 make it 162. Then if we take 71, it will be 91, not possible. Okay, then if we take further, take 67, it will be 95. Uh, then we cannot go less than, we cannot go more than 90. So only one possibility is there, 73 and 89. So Deepak will score 73 and Aryan will score 89 in this paper. Okay, so this is done. Now we have to fill uh, 
these two values as 156 okay and uh, it has to be more than 64 so let us think of the possibilities 156 banana if we take 67 as the score okay then it has to be more than 64 because uh, 61 is the lowest 64 67 and 89 then if we consider the next prime number 71 uh, it will come as 85 uh, not possible okay because 81 if is not prime then 73 83 so these are the possibilities for paper y okay uh, 73 83 or 67 89 83 is already filled rn has scored 83 so this is also not possible so this will be 67 and 89 okay uh, now Shiraz has scored 89 here so Shiraz will score 67 in this paper and Deepak will score 89 in this paper so this is also done now in paper X Deepak plus Aryan is 138 so let us start with the first prime number we have 61 that gives us 77 not possible no both are not primes then 61 67 and 71 that is the only possibility which can add up to a prime number okay so uh, those are prime numbers and total is 138 67 and 71 okay Achha, so we know the total of deepak right so we can find out this is 162 so this automatically translate to 71 so 233 rn will then be 67 okay so we did not have to do this calculation we could have used this to get this number and hence rn's score so this is how we can get the scores of all these people now we have to find the medals so we will add the values so this is 162 plus 64 226 this is 150 plus 89 239 this is 170 plus 67 that is 237 so gold goes to aryan okay silver goes to shiraz and bronze goes to deepak okay so the first question is about the bronze medal so it is deepak who gets the bronze medal highest total of any of these students is 239 Aryan score in paper X is 67 and highest marks on paper X are by Shiraz. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you loved solving the set. So please don't forget to like this video.